Hello Gemini, how are you guys doing this reading is for you, okay Gemini? Gemini. Okay. I use my angel oil. Okay. So I just want to clear the energy really quick. Okay, Gemini, I feel like a spiritual experience, you may have had one, you may have one coming, a dream, prophetic dreams, a vision of something, you may feel like you have like spirit angels helping you out in this life, and there's going to be some sort of a truth to this, there's going to be some sort of a revelation that you're going to have, where you're going to have some sort of a spiritual experience, you're going to know that spirit is going to help you. They're going to give you some sort of a sign. This could be, you know, angels, your spirit guides, source, um, Gaia, you know, your loved ones that have passed on, whatever it is that you connect with, okay? Um, but it's like I saw, you know, and I was clearing the energy for your reading. It's like, you know, there's like um, two mountains and then it's like they come next to each other. And then it's like forcing the air through there. And this is like channeling the air. This is like harnessing the air. And this is like, yeah, you have the world card here. Oh, a bunch of stuff flat with it. But there is something here about harnessing this energy, you know. And it's like I saw like the hand of God like place you through here. And then there, on the other side, there is like this windfall. There is a windfall of abundance. There is something here where spirit is placing you in the right place in the right time. You may have already had feelings about this. You have the seven of pentacles and then the knight of cups here. So this is something where it's like something is not working out and it's leading you towards a new direction here. And it's a direction of something that you love it could be leading to a person coming forth and expressing feelings that they have for you, that they have had for you for a long, long time. For some of you, you've been hoping and praying for a change in your situation for quite some time now. And it kind of seems like no matter what you do, it's the same story. Yeah, I looked at the devil here. So it's like no matter what you do, but then you have the fool. So there is new opportunities that are being presented to you at this time with the Ace of Wands. So Spirit wants you to remember this here. There is something here that is going to be real on this earth now. It's like there is an opportunity of something that you love that can earn you significant amounts of abundance. You know, the devil doesn't always have to be such negativity look at this you have the three of pentacles here so there's an opportunity for a collaboration here there's an opportunity for you to show your talents your your gift your skills here because some of you you know it's like you have been hiding you know you have this queen of swords and then you have the five of cups so this is like hey you know i want to put up this border here because i don't want to be hurt i don't want to be disappointed the way that i was disappointed here in the past I, you know it's like you have the ten of pentacles here i'm telling you there is a windfall of abundance coming here there's like money falling down on you you have high priestess energy here there's something here where you have to follow your intuition that's the only way that it is going to work out it's like yeah there is something here that you're disappointed about in the, look queen of swords is here again okay i'm leaving it uh, there is like a boundary that you have to set and you're disappointed that you have to set. It's giving me this energy that it's like you're not angry, you're disappointed. And isn't that so much worse? You know, you're really disappointed in a situation. You almost wish you could be angry about it because if you're angry, then you have some sort of energy for it, you know, but you're disappointed. So spirit is going to show you, no, 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 no. This is not going to stay this way. You know, this is changing and it's changing quick. Look at this chariot card here. You know, once you make a decision to move in a different direction, things start to line up for you very, very quickly. Things start to work out for you very, very quickly here. Because that's like this energy is like kind of like, you know, you're getting for a set of enough pentacles here. And you're like, okay, let me assess this. It's not working. I'm going to move. You're not waiting for it to get bad enough to be a tower. You're not doing that. Because this is when you're making the foundation here. So when you're making the foundation, 
It needs to be going well. You know, there are people that, you know, they don't assess, they ignore, and they keep putting into and they're not getting anything, right? But there is a comfortable, there is a familiarity in this. And so they keep doing it. And so some of you, this has been brought over from childhood. You've been doing this from childhood. And this is what you saw. This is what you knew how to do. Or this is, you know, with the examples that you were given, with what you were given, this is what you made of it. This is how it made sense to you from a young age and you continued forward with it. And some people, they will continue doing that until it becomes a tower, until the spirit makes it so uncomfortable. But you're doing this before. It's just a little bit uncomfortable. It's just a little bit not working out, you know. And so you're you're realizing this here. You know, it's like seven of pentacles is, you know, if you round up, you're rounding up to ten. But it's not ten. You know, it's not there. So this is the thing here that you're doing is you're not going to wait this time for things to get that bad. Maybe other people in your life, um, when you were younger or whatever, you observed a relationship where someone waited too long. And this caused a lot of problems here. And so you're making this judgment call here. Maybe a person never left a situation that they should have left the situation. They should have protected themselves. They should have protected you and they didn't do it. But you're doing that. You know, and maybe in the past you didn't. Maybe you waited for the tower to fall, but that's okay. You know, because it's like you're learning, you're growing, you're progressing. And you need to give yourself credit for this. You need to celebrate the, the wins that you are accumulating here. Because you are. It's like, you know, you want to be in this mentality where you're like, you know, all I do is win. No matter what. Of course, that song that I'm hearing. All I do is win no matter what. Hey, that's that. This is like the mentality that you're you're changing here, that you're coming into. Yeah, because look, this is something where it's like, this is an opportunity for you to say, instead of, you know, I'm not really winning here, to say, no, actually I am. I have a new opportunity and it can be anything, you know? It can be anything. And so I'm going to go for that here. So this is what you're doing. You may not know what's gonna exactly gonna happen coming forward, but you know what you're receiving. It is it's and it's not changing. So this is where you're in your head a little bit about how to move forward because you want to make sure that you're making the best decision. You could, somebody could be in their head about coming forth towards you because we have the Knight of Cups here. Let's see the Knight of Cups. You could be in your head about taking an opportunity that you love. Should you take an opportunity that you love? Are you making a risk here? You know, there is something here that you have that maybe not is every is not everything. Maybe there's not really room to grow, but it is somewhat stable. Yeah, look at this. There is somewhat stability here with the King of Pentacles, but then you have the Eight of Cups because it's like, you know what you're going to walk away towards? What it is that you really love? And then you have the Emperor. This is beautiful. So this is saying, yeah, you need to go towards what it is you really love. You can't sit in this. No. Okay, let's see. The star. Wow. You're, you know, you could be attracting someone who's a believer, somebody who knows how to heal themselves. And they're a very like healthy person. They have healthy relationships. They have a healthy relationship with their family. They want to just bring you into their family. You know, they just want to bring you into their, you know, friend group and everything like right away. This person, you know, they know who it is that they are and they love life and they really want to inspire other people to love life as well. And so this is a person who, you know, they haven't really found the one and this is something that they've been wanting for a long long time and this person is coming towards you because they see the magic they feel the chemistry there is something about the connection that you have between you and this person that it's like a magical way 
that this all happens. When you have the Knight of Cups and the Star, this is very magical. This is romance. This is a meet cute. You know, this is like, you know, in the movies when somebody meets. And it's a cute way that you guys meet. And then they end up, you know, getting married. And when they get married, they like, I don't know, do something cute that's like, oh, it's because they met, you know, here. That's why they're doing that, you know. That's why this is the theme of their wedding. Or this is where their wedding is, the spot where they met at. I don't know. It's like romantic, you know. Very romantic. Okay, let's see the devil. What's the devil about? You have the moon and you have the hierophant. This could be a Capricorn person. This could be a person that has a bad rap, but they don't really. This could be a person that has been misjudged because you don't know a lot about this person. There's some mystery surrounding this person. You know, maybe they don't fit in everywhere. You know, that's giving me this energy here. This is giving me the en energy of Alex and Spencer from... 1923 is it? I think it's 1923 Alex and Spencer. I'm telling you. And you know, she is there's somewhere there's where there's a safari and there's lions. So I'm guessing somewhere in Africa. I didn't actually watch the series at all. I just saw a snippet of their love story on YouTube. So this is why I have no idea the context of any of it. But I've gathered that there's some, at some point they're around lions. So, uh, and he, you know, does something interesting for a living. You know, like he, like, what does he do? Kill bad guys, I think. That's like what they allude to. Like, yeah, he's a killer, but they're bad people, so it's okay. Okay, I guess. <laughs> you know, and it's it's just, it's just you know, she just goes up to him and they fall in love, and it's very taboo, you know, because. He's a, you know, rugged man that doesn't have, you know, status. And she's, I don't know where she's from, England or something, maybe. Could be somewhere else. I don't know. And, and it's the, she's like a duchess or some crap like that. And so it's, it's this very like, you know, he's the, the bad boy. He has this dangerous reputation, but really he's not. He actually has a good heart. He has a kind soul. And he treats her and loves her. He really sees her. He treats her with respect. You know, he honors her. I mean, from the few minutes that I watched <laughs> of this little snippet, that's the end. You know, and then one guy she was supposed to get married to, you know, he looks all prim and proper and everything. But actually, like, does he really even love her? You know. So this is something because the Queen of Wands, you know, she has the black cat here. And this is signifying, you know, in the time of tarot, was very taboo, was very, you know, superstitious about black cats. And so this was like, hey, you can't just have a black cat. Like, oh, we don't do that, you know. And she does. And she doesn't care. <laughs> you know, she will consider the counsel of things that are unknown. Because cats can see into the spiritual realm, you know. And there is not tangible evidence here. Right. Necessarily. Um, and, you know, a lot of people are, you know, against this and science and blah, blah, blah. So, you know, she doesn't care about what society says, you know. In the background here, there's pyramids on one side and water on the other. Signifying that, you know, she has strong emotions, but she's going to go for this mystery. There is a mystery that calls to her and she's going to do it. She is the beloved outcast, you know. Um, she's the one that's like the witch in the town and everybody is just so like fantasizes about her. She's so beautiful. She's very enchanting. When she comes into town, everyone is, everyone stops and just stares at her, you know? And it's like, they're all talking about her. They all would secretly love for her to want to be their best friend or their lover. But at the same time, they're all like terrified. <laughs> she's a witch, you know? It's this kind of energy here. So this person may have a reputation 
that actually when you get to know them, it's not really true. This is giving me 10 things I hate about you energy in the beginning. Patrick Verona, Heath Ledger. Come on. Tell me you've seen the movie. And, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, I heard he, like, ate a cat or something horrible. But he, um, you know, all of these rumors are a duck. That's what they were talking about, a duck. They, they were saying all these bad rumors about this guy. And really, no, none of them are true. He's actually just like a really nice guy, <laughs> you know? So it's like, don't believe everything you hear, you know? It's like the, the, there's a, some people have a mystery about them and then people don't know what to do with that mystery and they will let their imagination fill in the space. And when you have the devil and the queen of wands together, oh, this is a spicy thing here. This is something here, you know? It's like... This is a tempting person. This is an alluring person. But, you know, you, you they're not like anybody else. They're very distinct. And people don't know how to place it. And so there is fantasy around this person. There is fantasy perhaps around you. And, and there, there is a way that this is going to become established. And people are going to see, oh, no. It's like in Practical Magic. By the end of the movie, everyone is like, oh, yeah, they're just like normal like us. And we love them. The, you know, the witches. So it's like, hey, it's cool. So, yeah, you have a ton of cups again. What a, what a, wow, this is interesting. Okay, let's see the full. Let's see the full. You have justice. Yeah, you know, you deserve a new beginning. You deserve a new beginning. And somebody from the past, they don't deserve another chance with you. That's just it. And they know that they don't. And there, there is something here about um, it's like you know on 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 his umbrella here. There's stars up there. An umbrella is a protection. So what is protecting him in his is his dreams. So this is like saying, you know, yeah, you need you need to go for something here because karma wants to come in and bless you. But it's kind of like what you're attracting is a big blessing and to attract a big blessing then you have to like you know, do something big. You have to follow that intuition. It's like, you know, if you want to catch a uh, you're not going to catch a um I don't know. You're not going to catch a shark, you know, you know, fishing for minnows. <laughs> you know, you got to you got to up your what 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 you're doing. Your your end of the bargain here. Let's let's see the salons. You have Page of Swords and you have the Sun. You're going to be dedicated to something that makes you really happy. There could be something that you have been watching. You have been watching other people in their lives. And you there could be somebody who's doing what you you want to do. And you have like this new fascination with this person. And there could be a relationship that you're like, yeah, I want a relation. I want to love like that. You know, there is something here that you now have your eyes on. And this is this is what it is. This is what it would be. You know, there is going to be an opportunity presented to you to follow through with this. And this is going to lead to a lot of joy, a lot of fulfillment here. And it's kind of like, you know, once you get accepted to something you know it's like what if there's a school that it's your dream to go to this school you know but you don't know if you're going to be accepted and once you get accepted that's amazing but it's like now you have to go to the school <laughs> you know which is great but you have to leave everything you know you know you, you how is this going to go now it's time for you to actually get to work and do the work and the page of swords can also talk about proficiency it can talk about 
this person, you know, they want to wake up early in the morning and they want to climb to the top of this mountain here and they want to learn how to use this sword because they want to be the best. And so they're dedicated, you know, they're working all day, they get up early, they're, you know, and then they come here and they're doing this until sundown and then they eat and they go to sleep and then they wake up before the sun and they do it all over again. And this is seven days a week, you know, there's a part where you're in the grind, you know, and it's like, yeah, we want to create our own reality. We are and we want to be living our dreams. But then it's like there is a point when you're handed an opportunity and then you have to work really hard. You know, it's like in the beginning of, you know, JLo's career, she had to, you know, take every job that she could get dancing. She couldn't be like, you know, eh, I don't really feel like it today. So <laughs> I'm just not going to do it. No, it's like, no, you wanted this opportunity and then now you have to follow through with it for this to happen. You know, you have to show your dedication. That's your you're a part of this. And this is saying you're doing this and you're doing it with joy. You know, you're enjoying. It's like there, there is a way that this is fulfilling to work this hard. You know, there's a time in life when it's like, yeah, this is, I'm so excited every day to learn about this and to grow and to understand this. And I can't believe I'm getting to do this. And, you know, there was times when it's difficult and you're exhausted. Yes. But, you know, it's it's a beautiful thing and this is also talking about the spy card so i feel like there is somebody here that is noticing how hard it is that you're working and this is an opportunity that this person is going to come towards you with that's going to be very successful it's going to lead to a lot of happiness for you and it's going to lead to more of you not having to work so hard but getting to enjoy things more you know wow okay let's see the three let's see this three of um Pentacles here. What the heck is this about? What's this? Okay. What the hey? Okay. How many cards is this? Okay. We'll take it. I don't know. Okay. Three of Swords and the Ten of Wands. So this is, hey. You know, I, there's some heartache here, but you know what? I'm going to work through that heartache. You know, there sometimes it's like, you know, the amount of gain that has happened in my life. It's like when I look back on it, yeah, things that didn't work out, things that I was really heartbroken about. And then I just turned and threw myself into my work. I, the, the immense success. The amount of joy that was felt after, you know, it's there is a time where, yeah, you're throwing yourself into your work and it's difficult. It is. But that doesn't mean that a payout is not here because it is. You have the lovers and you have the queen of pentacles here. So you know your worth and you're making this decision to pour your energy into yourself here. You're betting on yourself here. And this is what's coming. Didn't this happen with Rocky and Adrian? You know, I don't know, she didn't love him for something, or he was afraid to tell her if she worked at a pet store. And he was like training every day and training every day, you know, and he was heartbroken, but he's, you know what? He was going for his dream, you know? <laughs> he was. And then, and then finally, things start to work out for him. He starts to win matches. She decides to be in love with him. There you go, you know? There's something here that, you know, sometimes spirit is pushing you in a direction where you can be blessed and where everything that you're wanting, it looks like it's over here. It's like a fly who's trying to get out of your house. They're trapped and they're trying to fly out a window and they keep hitting the glass. And it's like, let me help you out, buddy. You know, I'm going to get a cup. I'm going to trap you, you know, and the cup, you know, the fly sees the cup and they think this is sudden death, you know, as a being of higher consciousness who can't communicate to the fly. Hey, man, I'm trying to help you. Will you relax? <laughs> you know, the, that's not a possibility. So sometimes spirit is trying to get a cup and put you where you need to go. And to you, this cup is this is not good. I can't do this, you know. 
And so it's like, how come this is so hard? You know, the fly flying around, hitting the glass. Like, man, this couple, leave me alone with that. <laughs> you know? And eventually the, the, the fly gets tired enough to surrender, right? And then you slip a paper under there and then you set them free. And they're like, wow, what the heck? How did this happen? You know, that's what's happening to you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You have the two of cups here with the ten of pentacles. This is, this is spirit putting you around the right kind of people that you need to be around to make this your life. The right kind of partnership that's going to last, that's loyal. That's what the dog represents, the groundedness as well. You know, look at this. There's an opportunity that's going to change your world. And how are you going to know about this? Oh, I don't know. Intuition. Yeah. Dreams. There's some kind of vision that you're going to have. There's something here. There's something here. It's like what you what you're seeking is seeking you. That's what this is talking about. It's seeking you. It looks like it's not seeking you. This is okay. Hey, this is the fly hitting the glass. Relax. Relax. You're not staying here. This is not where you're staying. This is going to change now, you know, and it's like when you say, you know, I don't need it. I can pour my energy into myself. I know I can build myself up. I know the right situation is going to come along. I believe in this. I love this. And this is why I'm doing it. I'm already here. I'm already fulfilled. It's already done. The answer is already yes. You know, when you're doing that, this is when this all turns around for you here. And that's what's happening here is like, look, 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 look. Five of Cups, Five of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Five, Five, Five. This is change. This is change. And then you have the Ace of Swords. So this is balance. This is truth. This is the answer. This is spirit coming and stepping in and blessing you. That's what's happening here. Yeah. You're making a huge change to your life. This could have to do with a Sagittarius person. You have Cancer here. You have Libra here. You have Pisces. Could be another Gemini. You know, this could be a, a Leo person. Could be a Taurus. Could be a Libra. Doesn't have to be. Let's see. Let's see about this. Okay. Sage, be devoted and committed. What did I say? It's like you are, you are coming into this mode of, hey, I'm just going to go for this. I'm just going to work towards this. I'm going to put all my energy towards this. I'm going to be devoted and committed here to my own joy, to my own happiness, to what is going to benefit me in my life, to what I'm seeing reciprocity in, in my life here. This is, this is what's happening here for you. Water guardian, connect with your emotions. Yeah. It's like, remember that your emotions are just your guidance system here. That's all that this is here. It's like, you know, you can't see I have a candle here. And when I put my hand over here, it's warm. And then I'm putting it a little closer. Okay, now this is like really burning, really burning. I need to move my hand away. Because I'm feeling pain. So when you feel some kind of negativity, whether it's a physical pain or emotional, this is your body signaling to you, do something different. Because if I keep my hand here, you know, the burning is going to get worse and worse and worse and worse. And eventually, you know, I can damage my body. You know, so this is this is what we're doing with our thinking, our emotions as well. So spirit is telling you, you know, hey, there is something here is making you feel this way. Shift your thoughts, shift your thoughts. It's going to get easier and easier and easier. Like the, the longer my hand is away from the candle after it was being burned, more and more time passes and it feels better, you know. So this is just a different form of the same thing. This is how spirit communicates with you. And so the water guardian is reminding you of this. Reminding you of this. Okay. So. How do I shuffle the cards so much? And you have the same, the same card as Aries. Phoenix. Whoa. 
Yeah, you're rising from the ashes here. You're rising from the ashes here. You're making a huge change in your life. This could be an Aries person. doesn't have to be. But spirit is guiding you. And, you know, the hawk symbolizes spiritual messages. Messages from the divine. Messages from your ancestors. Okay? Uh, spirit guides that are communicating to you. That are letting you know, hey, we're communicating with you. We're helping you. We're guiding you. You're never alone. We're always here. The, the arms of the divine are wrapped around you. And they've become wings and they're going to fly you where you need to be because this look at this transformation this is this is the wings now that are your wings okay that's what's happening to you yeah there's some things that happened here that you didn't want to happen there's some things that you had to overcome here but it's like you're the perfect person to overcome this spirit is going to send you a person who's resilient they're going to send you a person who understands how the meaning of never giving up who values, who appreciates their life. They're going to send you a soul who is determined to change their life, to be an inspiration to others. Following the divine is very important to you. These are the only two cards in the deck that have, you know, the, the wings here like angel wings. It's like you and this person, you know, angels are bringing the two of you together. This is a very romantic connection that the two of you are going to have. It's a destined connection. And this is like a message from spirit, you know, and this is like you being the messenger. So this is very interesting here. And it's like, you know, you know, this is this is very much so like I don't like to say twin flame because I think people get all crazy about that crap. And once you start look, thinking about somebody as your twin flame, well, guess what you're doing? pushing them away. So even if they are your twin flame, you're messing it up. <laughs> Focus on yourself and the person that is meant for you will come to you. You know, this is what, you know, the divine is really saying, hey, we're here for you. We've got you. We've got you. You can do this. Okay. Your home is protected by angels. Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over my home and, and its inhabitants. I ask you to post guardian angels at each window, door, ensuring security. Thank you for guiding my finances so that I can easily afford my rent, mortgage, and taxes. Wow, this is amazing. Spirit is here protecting you. Angels are around you protecting you. Your home is protected by angels. You are protected by angels. Your children are being watched over by angels. Wow, how beautiful. Some of you want to have children here, and this is letting you know that, yeah, this is here for you as well. This could be a person coming into your life that you can have children with here. Um, let's see. We have the turkey spirit. Give with gratitude and grace. Beautiful. Turkeys also symbolize a significant abundance. Significant abundance. Frog spirit, clear out the clutter, okay? So you could be getting ready for some blessings. So you can clear out some things and give some things away that you don't need anymore. Because spirit is about to bless you. And so you need to prepare yourself for these blessings that are coming in by giving stuff away. Uh, and by clearing things out that, you know, are no longer necessary. You know, frogs symbolize true love. It's like a fairy tale kind of love to me. And turkeys, you know, symbolize definitely, definitely prosperity. Definitely gratitude and prosperity. You having gratitude for your life leads to prosperity um, and more things to be grateful for coming into your life here. So you're attracting a person that gratitude is very important to them. They're very generous. They really want to give to other people. They want to have a life where they are able to, you know, give to others and feel fulfilled this is a person that likes to surprise other people this is a person that will, will want to surprise you will want to go and do fun things to celebrate just to celebrate being alive this is a person that you know they go forward they don't go back 
And this is a person that's not going to hold things over your head. You're not going to be questioning everything with this person. You're actually going to see that their actions and their words match. And you're building something together with them. You know, this is a very beautiful energy. You have excitement here. Yes, this is a very exciting time that you're coming into here. You have the... Um, Why am I going blank? This is Gemini. This is your card. So it could be another Gemini. It doesn't have to be. You have caution here. That is um, a Virgo card. And you have restlessness. Yeah, allow this to come forward here and surrender. You don't want to be restless. You don't want to be the fly banging on the window like, oh, I should be able to get out there. What is happening? What is happening? Frantic, frantic, frantic. You know, it's like, okay, relax. If something isn't working, just take a second. You know, calm yourself before you move forward here. Because this is a very important, you know, you have Aries here as well. So that restless energy is an Aries. You have assertion here. There could be an Aries person that's coming towards you. There, there's something here where you're making some changes in your life. <laughs> you know, you're wanting some changes here. It's a year of the dragon. This this card, there's, he's slaying the dragon. So this could be something where, you know, there's fairy tale energy here. There, there's something here about you meeting a person. And it's a very cute meeting. It's a very magical meeting. This is a story that you can tell other people. And they're excited about this kind of a story here. This is like reminding me of Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, right? And like this kind of character. And you 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 have somebody here who has genuine character here. And this is a beautiful story, the two of you coming together. And Spirit's like, just let it unfold naturally. Some of you are so excited for love. You're so excited for all of these blessings here that are coming in. And Spirit is like, okay, but you have to allow it to happen here. That's this excitement card here. Don't get restless and just, just go for something that's not working here. Yeah, you have the cracked cup dissatisfaction with life here. Something is taking too long. It's okay. And this is like the cup with the fly, right? Okay, <laughs> you have to just allow. You have bridge, successfully overcoming a problem. Yeah, you're making your way here. You have the moon, changes in your life. There's beautiful changes here for you. A lot of things to be excited for, okay? So I'm, I'm very excited for this to unfold for you, okay? This is what I have for you, Gemini. Thank you so much. If you resonate with the video and you want to like or subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it, okay? Also, I have a TikTok. It's called Cecilia Knows Tarot. And I have a book. It's called Long Light. It's all about the law of attraction and manifesting. So if you're interested, it's in the description.